Do you smell it? Smells like my fresh brew built around Queza, the Augur of Agonis, an amazing creature that I barely saw somebody using outside of Brawl or Commander. And I mean, I understand, I see how this could be a really cool commander. It has three colors, it has a really cool ability, but I wanted to make something in standard. And this is what I come up with. This is build around the Queza ability to drain our opponent and gaining life. If you want to know more about this deck, feel free to check out the breakdown part in the end of the video. I'm also going to show you there some different builds with it because this deck is super versatile. But for now, let's roll with it. So, we are ready for our first game against Lit in Dark. Lit in Dark, let's see how we build Kazaryu. Quasar. Uh, we go first, we're missing black for mid hook, definitely, but we have some life gain, so against Boros, maybe something. And we have some big blockers, so this is, this is okay, this is okay. My opponent took a mulligan. So let's see if we can draw our black source, and we should. We, I, I usually don't have much problems, and uh, I was planning, planning, oh, here we have our black source. I was uh, planning to, oh, who do you, you are black. Let me, uh, adversaries, I think better. This way we can start gaining a lot of life with refine next turn. Hello there, and thank you very much for enjoying my videos. If you're new to the channel, consider to subscribe for more amazing content like this. Otherwise, let's keep on watching the video. Uitze. Um, this is good. Let's take away our mid hook because I don't think I will need it here. Uh, we are currently in front on the board. I think my opponent is running a mid hook massacre. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, opponent foretells something interesting. Uh, in this case, we gonna... I can double spell if I need to, right? But I'm a little bit scared of what my opponent foretold. Um, but let's go for it, right? Let's go for it. I want to have a little bit card selection here. Here and there. Oh, the dragon is good. The dragon is good. Let's discard you because he can be brought back with the specialist. Let's attack. Um, he foretold something. Let's let's throw him out of the... Out of the reach of... Uh, the mid hook. And I think next turn if my opponent does nothing, it's uh, GG, right? There's not much my opponent could do. Two wizard class draw, huh? <laughs> not bad. I mean, he needs to remove a lot now. Oh, uh, Obnix. Um, if he has another land, maybe he can make some cool shenanigans with it. I have a really cool post rotation deck here. Okay, one for you. Let's go for it. Bring you back. I cannot pay for it, but it's okay. We can double spell now. Shredder draws me Quaza. Ooh, for next turn, huh? Ooh, but I, I think I've already won. Let's go face. Um, let's go here. Bloop, 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 bloop. One. Two, three. Ah, uh, sure, four. I think he's dead now. There is no chance he can do something here. So, too much damage. Too much damage. This is nice. Damage is always good. Um, said so you know Qatar, uh, Qu Quaza, but maybe next game. So, let's go there. And here we are in our second game against Kronosk. Kro Kro Kronosks. Kronosks. Opponent goes first. It could be a really cool hand, but it could be also a dead hand. So I'm forced to open with uh, Azorius, but we are mostly Azorius, so it's okay. And then I need to see what I draw. And I'm on the draw, so let's keep it. Let's keep it, right? Against Boros, I have a little easy, okay? So let's go here with Bloom. You are for the black, so you go for white. And the dragons could draw me a lot of cards. And there's also a great blocker against Goldspan Dragon, no? So don't forget definitely about it. Let's go with Danik. Danik, definitely the most casual name in magic you can ever experience. <laughs> Danik, the prior separation. And oh, his other form is also Danik prior apparition. 
No, a, a print and, and then other is apparition. Oh, cool, cool. Very interesting. You will no, never stop learning in arena. Opponent is thinking like, what are you having in your graveyard? Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Um, no cheeky bricky? Wow. Opponent without cheeky bricky. So let's go with graveyard trespasser. And my graveyard, I don't want to exile Benic, right? So I want to exile this, but it doesn't really matter what you exile. I'm just taking it just in case he has Liar or some other shenanigans. Oh, this is an expensive Dragon's Fire. Discards a Fading Hope. Okay, sure, sure. Disturb for... For four, but why is it Lightning for two? Just... To showcase because before you remember when when um firstly the disturb stuff come out you always saw in exile the amount you need to pay from the graveyard now it just shows two so let's see if we can hit our combo i think i go more for black right yeah ah here now it shows game please please bitch Let's see if, if we can maybe see the synergy here with him, with Danik and Refine. No, we can't. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, um, Kronosks. You are a very removal-friendly uh, deck. Sure. Ah, another land will be amazing. Um, let's go with Adversary. I cannot pump it, but an external Refine can start digging for some life. And it's okay. Now opponent with Kiki Bricky. Can we hit a land drop? Thank you, game. Let's go for white. Let's go for desert. Let's go for life. This is a difficult target to deal with, my friend. Definitely difficult target. He has some removal spell again. And my opponent really, really good hits, huh? For Fading Hope, two Dragon's Fire, Expressive Restoration, and Voltic. So let's see my opponent, what do you want to discard? Sure. And the nice thing is about also um, the dragon is not only he holds other dragons back, but also... Wait a second, I'm sorry. I'm expecting some important documents. Um, for me, so let me go, let's go refine. Opponent maybe has some interaction, but it's okay. Totally okay. Fading hope or stuff. Like, what did he discard? Two lands, right? Uh, another land drop is good, so let's get rid of Refine. You drew your interaction? Oh, you wanna sacrifice your drag? Yes! This is the best sacrifice in my life. The best... The best uh, trait in my life. Wow! I was already a little scared because Chicky Bricky with um, you know who is super powerful. So I think I'm gonna play you because Quasi is just a B. Go for some damage here. Discard you. And play you out. Let's see if he maybe hits something like um, how it called burn down the house. No, he doesn't. Bomb in your face again, my friend. Uh, let's go here for one more blue. Let's go for some Antakuitze. On Refine. Because if he has bounce spells. Uh, you can go, you can go, and you can go. Deal 3 damage. Quasi is popping, Quasi is popping. This is a sound my enemy makes when I destroy him. Okay, okay. Can I kill him now somehow? No, I don't, right? So let's keep it. I want to keep the Hopeful Initiate open, so just in case he plays something big, something uh, dangerous, uh, that I can uh, kill the Kiki Bricky Chiki Miki. Otherwise, did I discard accidentally some card draw? No, only ledge. It will be one more damage, but it's okay. It's okay. I think this is a good representation of what Kaza can do for real life gain. You're still dead, my friend. Minus it. 
pay one. You. One, two. This is what you get for hurting my Ouch. Ay, mother freaker. Now I sh wanted to show you a combo. Um, I'm not getting mad about a win, guys. Don't don't be silly, right? I wanted to show you a combo now. If he will stay, um, extraction special, reserve specialist, into hopefully it doesn't matter what we take, right? Um, will be um, three creatures, right? And then Plumper Forbidden sacrificing these three creatures will deal him four damage because Plumper Forbidden will get three copies and one initial. So we draw four cards and Quasa will kill him. So let's go next. So and for our next game, special guest decided to join us. I present you Bebe. <laughs> A beautiful snowshoe cat. And Bebe, you don't bring me luck. Uh, she didn't bring me luck. Um, the hand looks difficult. If I draw blue source, yes. If I don't draw blue source, no. So I'm thinking I'm gonna mulligan. Yeah, this is better. Do we have double black in just in case? Yes, we do. So let's... But then I don't have... It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Gonna start with hopeful. Opponent black. Okay, sure. Then uh, let's start with... Shredder, and let's see if my opponent wants to seki seki gesti gesti. Otherwise, uh, okay, good, 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 very good. So with a little bit of luck, maybe. Thank you very much, my love. Thank you very much. Oh, no, 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 no. You can like. Sorry. So, um, this is how it can go. Thank you. Thank you for your luck. <laughs> Let's go next. So, and here we are in our fourth game, I think, right? I Hort number 451. We go first. Yeah, mm. Vrafita. This could be an amazing hand. Sure. Could be an amazing hand. Give me one more land. Or black or white. Boros, huh? Boros. Definitely Boros. So, yes. Let's go for white. Let's go for you. Let's see if he has Royal Eruption. Royal Eruption can deal with Danik, but it's okay. Mm, perfect start for my opponent. Also, Shredder will not have uh done anything but the life gain dino you remember dino the life gain is real my friends really real mm, good draw good draw so let's skip our refine and now we are out of reach of uh, royal eruption let's see if my opponent wants to race me and yesterday i tested the deck with dino a lot like a lot and the thing that I noticed that it falls apart. It falls apart as soon as we gain more life than my opponent. One, two, how much do I have? One, two, right? Yeah. So how can I do this? I want to keep you, to be honest, for other shenanigans. So I'm gonna go you. Yes. And I'm gonna go you. As, as soon as you start gaining life and also putting out a little bit of pressure, um, the deck, now I discard that adversary, uh, um, the deck of Boros falls uh, pretty... She's not allowed to jump. I missed it a little bit or she should not jump. No, she wants to go out, but I will let her out after. Um, wow. Okay. Interesting choice. Very interesting choice. Um, 
No, not really. Not really interested into it. Ooh. This could be cool. I need four mana for it, though. Ah, no, but then it will turn to night. And at night, it's painful to bounce him, right? Let's do it like this. Gonna go here. Gonna go here. I'm gonna go one, two. As much as I won't like to keep him, but I need to discard him. Three. Then I'm gonna go here. Oh, he's taking it all like a bad boy, huh? Okay. Live game. Bitches. I, I I forgot about the day night cycle that brutal Qatar will turn to night and this will be horrible for me. This way is okay, totally fine, bro. Come at me 24/7, five days a week, how much you want, right? Um, so now we're gonna go in. Eight life, right? Yes, Boros. Thank you, Dino. This <laughs> yesterday we played. I think. I'm not gonna lie, like six games against Dino and he used only Boros because I wanted to refine his deck to perform against Boros because my main opponents in Mythic are Boros, believe it or not, like 80%. I mean, all, all of you who is playing, I think, currently encourage a lot of Boros, but Jesus, and I lost. Yeah, my love, I'm coming. I will open it. I think she needs to go to Poopy. Guys. I see you in the breakdown. I'm gonna just open surely the door and then we're gonna check out this amazing deck a little bit more. And how amazing was this performance? I, I didn't expect it. I, I thought it would be good because after all the testing yesterday with Dino, the deck performed better against Boros, but that we gonna smash so many different decks? Wow. Um, up from the note, build it or not, I would say no. No, because I didn't have enough testing. I cannot confidently tell you you should build it or you can build it and it will perform for you on the same level as it performed here because I had tested similar builds or builds around yesterday against Dino maybe like for 15 games um, in a row but with all a little bit difference, right? And I'm going to talk about these differences and things that I tried to include um, and what were the strengths and the weaknesses of each different build but this build performs now really really strong so i had i think six games now i lost one against a hardcore control before i started recording and i think i lost five now or one five now with you four on camera and before i tested also so um this sample size is just not enough for me to tell you yes this is a super build but you can decide it for yourself i mean you see what we are using and you see how versatile this deck is because we are going esper and esper is currently has the access to the best cards in the whole game let's say or in the whole standard and this is why you can go with vanishing verse you can go more aggro with uh brutal qatar i tried a version with a little spellbinder and stuff like this um but this version i found it really cool i found really cool the extraction specialist uh with the synergies to where you can just recover some two drops to sacrifice them now again uh, for plumb or forbidden um and uh all this let's say multi combo pieces um, also, um, Quenza, it's a cool creature. It's a cool creature. It helps you to give you this last a little bit of push against some opponents um, because I had a game off camera where I played against Mono Green and it was really back and forth, back and forth. And in the end, it really was um, one life difference that made the game uh, like win for me, right? Um, and Quenza was on the board. So it means he decided the outcome of the game. 
this is why i think it's cool i think maybe in the future we can make something more i also thought about maybe making some um colorless co colorless stuff right so we can don't need to play esper like hardcore esper like we do it now um but we can maybe more go more um, um one color and just splashing uh some colors like white and blue splashing and we go more more mono black let's say um otherwise i talked about in the gameplay already at uh, desert doom really cool dragon um ward ability really cool for you saw it against easy to take over the game uh card draw also not to underestimate because again with quesa not only we go for five damage we also draw cards that again goes for more damage uh just amazing uh meat hook because i needed something to deal with the wider boards right and it's my only removal don't judge me <laughs> don't judge me i could have gone four of them and then we want to see how you will like it no but we need some sort of removal right like not necessary removal we are more combo orientated to find our combo pieces but uh, of course sometimes if opponent has a white board early on we need to do something against it and if refine finds me a meat hook i'm happy with it then another synergy that i said in the gameplay i hope you will see it but sadly we didn't so because opponent was hardcore removal easy dragons i think it was uh denik uh the the uh, disturb ability from denik pious appreciation um says whenever one or more creature cards are put into the graveyard from anywhere anywhere is also your hand um investigate this ability triggers only once a turn denik blah blah in the exile so but this triggers on my turn and the opponent's turn once right so refine can help us this doing this really easy in our turn and uh let shredder can help us doing this really easy in opponent's turn because as soon as there is a double spell we put creatures in a graveyard and we investigate again card advantage card selection uh really really nice option here to lo go longer games right to grind a little bit more um i had i had this i had this in my first game where i lost but i had this synergy coming up and i was like wow this is really cool this is really cool maybe there is something possible then wizard class uh <laughs> because level five i never had a level three for five mana but because of this level i thought it was also a good addition because it's a one mana um that draws you then for three mana uh two additional cards that can help you really really much um otherwise whenever you draw a card put a one long counter on creature you know what's happening if you have refine on the board in the same time uh, so by turn five if you level it up to level three um you draw a bunch of cards you put a bunch of counters everything gets bigger everything gets stronger this is why i put it in because we are a little bit in an uh, let's say more aggressive shell right but in a combo piece aggressive shell that we don't necessarily need a lot of different stuff to happen to win the game we can also win the game like with uh, quesa for example right and uh, just some card draw um because he passively also automatically on your upkeep drains the opponent um then i was trying um uh if you, if you see here maybe a learn spell shell where i put on learn spells like um uh, eye twitch like uh, the professor of symbiology the two mana white drop that let you learn stuff like this to have the card selection because for learn spells um again as dino mentioned it also um, but learn spells you can instead of taking the cards from your sideboard you can choose to take um the cards uh to to cycle your cards in the hand so this is also a card draw that again triggers quasi the problem is with the learn spell i was really slow so i needed more removals or more interaction with the opponent's board because it's usually like um you play something always yes on each turn uh but it's not really super impactful uh that uh, impact the board state or impact the game so we need some sort of control or removal pieces to keep it in in check uh so we can handle it um other things interpret adversary a sleeper against boros definitely three power with lifelink is super powerful especially in the late game i think a lot of decks can sideboard it or uh, can play it also for the sideboard against boros matchups because it just gives you so much it just gives you really really much um and uh, most likely they will remove it but this is why we have a special specialist because it comes back uh, it's also lifelinker um it's also putting something back like adversary or a shredder on the board or you can also take Danik if you need to I'm gonna barely took Danik I usually take adversary or shredder out um and sometimes if you don't have both of them just uh, hopefully initiate to just again force my opponent to do something right 
Yeah, um, on this spot, yeah, mana base, as I said, uh, triumphs, I think I will craft two triumphs and then uh, the triumphs will be really, uh, let's say, helpful maybe in this build because we are not super relying on playing this turn one, but turn two will be really helpful to have all the colors. Um, and uh, yeah, for this build, as I said, you can go really competitive. Um, take the typical Esper shell, right, with Vanishing Verse, uh, um, Underdog, you can also put in a tried Underdog. Uh, but if I run underdog, I run this casualty card. Let me show it to you shortly in black. This one. Cut the profits. Um, because this was initially my idea, right? Uh, my idea was initial, initial cut the profits or refine in combination with Quesa will kill my opponent almost consistently on turn 6. The problem is because I run in uh, Boros opponents, I was most likely dead by turn 5. You see the problem? Like, I tried to kill them on turn 6, but I'm already dead on turn 5. This is why this card didn't make it into the deck. Um, otherwise, you can go for it if you go maybe, but because you see, we have here 3 power, 3 power, and it has casualty 3, so you need to sacrifice a creature with power 3 or more. Um, so we have 3 power, 3 power, this is 2, but it can grow, 3 power, this is 1, but it can grow 2, and Shredder can grow 2, and the rest is all with 3, 3, 3, but we barely look to sacrifice our Quetzal because we want to tr have the triggers, right? But this can draw you in the late game your handful, right? Like, uh, you go for 3, um, like uh, x6 plus 3, so for 5 mana, let's say, you sacrifice Extraction Specialist, um, then it copy itself, so you draw additional 3, so at the end you draw 6 cards, and uh, yeah, you refill your hand on, by turn 5. So this is just an amazing possibility to get some extra triggers from Quesa, but also refill your hand. And I'm going to definitely experiment with Cut uh, of the Profits, because I think there are some possibilities for mid range type of builds, not this one. Um, the ones that maybe utilize some Graveyard Synergy, like uh, um, Underdog, for example, or Graveyard Trespasser and stuff, so there we can maybe do something. And uh, yeah, I think we can do or make something happen there. Then, um, Underdog is a possibility yeah, to go more competitive than Kaito, definitely. Oof, Kaito, Kaito was, Kaito was an amazing inclusion here. Let me show it. I mean, by now, all people know Kaito, right? Um, Kaito was an amazing inclusion here, but I didn't found a spot in this deck for him. Like, if I remove Wizard Class, this is my opinion... Um, the weakest card that we have here. And if I remove Wizard Class, then the curve is too high, right? If I remove uh, Graveyard Trespasser or Refine or Extraction Specialist, then I don't need so many two drops, right? So I need to adapt my deck really, really much. Um, if you go more typical control, let's say you remove the Desert Doom, uh, um, you, you remove some stuff here that you don't need, um, and go more controlish as per build, then definitely a Kaito with Wanderer and with Quesa can be good, can be really good if you go more control. Um, if you go more aggro though, oof, boy, boy, boy. There is so much white creatures, almost everything in white. So you can play this, um, take the Naya Humans build for you as a small tip. If you need help with it, let me know or join our Discord, I will tell you. Take the Naya Humans build, remove all the green and red stuff and add Refine and Quesa. Oh boy, oh boy, you will have fun. Oh boy, oh boy, you will have fun. Um, I tried it, super annoying, super aggressive, but really repetitive, like, it uh, plays repeat all, uh, really, really often, because, bro, if you have refine on curve, or even, like, let's say, refine on turn 4, right, because you play, like, your turn 1, turn 2, then you play maybe Brutal Qatar, because opponent has something on the board you want to remove, and then turn 4, you play, like, refine into another 1-drop, there is no chance your opponent can recover by turn 5. It's so difficult because Mono White Shell, with the aggression of Refine and blocking that it provides, but also with Quesa that start draining because Refine draws you a million cards. Difficult. Really, really difficult. Um, but yeah, you can, you can try it out. And if you need any help, let me know. I will be happy to help you or, or join our Discord and we can discuss it there. Otherwise... Guys, thank you very much for everything, for your time, for your passion, for your support. Uh, means me really, really much. Uh, be passionate for the next build. It will be something really, really cool. Post-rotation build. And uh, I hope you will enjoy it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.